Hello everyone, my name is João and this is the third episode of my mini podcast series where I share what I've been working on the previous week and sharing it in public, sharing my reflections, sharing the, the tasks that I'm working on. And uh, this week was particularly special because last week I was on vacation, so I didn't have a lot of time to, to work. But in contrast, I have a lot of time to read, which is something that I've started doing this year. I usually was not reading a lot or really barely reading. I was listening to some audiobooks at some point when I was going to the gym or t- traveling, so I was more listening. But I noticed that I could not capture everything on the while just listening to audiobooks. So this year I decided to let's read at least 30 minutes per day. And that's what I've been doing since the beginning of January. But last week I was on vacation, so I had much more time to read. And I started a new book just the day before f- taking the flight. Flight was around four hours, so it gives a big boost. No connection, no internet, no distraction, just time to focus and read. That's what I decided to do. So the book I chose to read during this vacation was The Million Dollar Weekend, a book by Noah Kangan, the founder of Absum. It's a very recent book, just a few weeks old. So I've read quite some uh, good uh, reviews on Twitter, put some interviews from him on YouTube and decided, no, let's give it a try. And the, the book really engaged with you, really oaks you in. So I could read it in just one week. It's not huge, but I could just read it in one week, which is for me, it's quite strange knowing from my past, but I'm really enjoying reading. I would suggest everyone to take this habit, concentrate you on this task and really focus on what you're reading and you can get some nice books. This is business books and that's what mostly what I try to, to read. Might try different books in the for the next one when I finish my current one, but this one was really interesting and it made me reflect on my previous experiences building new project. I've built virtually, it was quite a good success, but now I'm starting new project. And the way I'm starting the project might not be the best one, to be honest, or might not be doing the right way, especially when I read this book and reading also other tweets from people, there are different opinions, but on this book, one of the big things that it's highlighted, it's, it's deadly to build a business without first verifying that there are paying customers. And that's all I've done since I started building my new project. So well done, Joan. Congrats. Anyway, I think this is one uh, way to do it. It's to really try to pre-validate your paying customers, see if there's demand, see if there's interest. And if you are really solving a problem that people are worried about, a problem that they have. And on my mind as a builder, yeah, I have an idea, just jump in. And some of the projects, I just, yeah, I'm getting really excited and pumped for an idea. I built it in a few days and then just launch and uh, no one comes. That I, I'm sure that happens for everybody. So, of course, it would have happened to me. The thing is that it's happening quite a lot because I'm not following good practice in that sense. I'm not very, being very systematic on choosing which projects to build. I have an interest, of course. I have some reason to do it, but... Not very, not being very systematic and really, yeah, this makes sense. Let's invest time there. That's something that I need to, to work on my new project is to really think before, evaluate who the customers are, what are they doing? Where are they? See if there's any relation with me. If this is in a domain where I have some influence, focus on my existing community, which for me, it's been quite difficult at this time. I'm trying to do many different projects in different domains. There's no real correlation between each of them. And this makes it harder for me to focus on a specific niche. That's something that I need to think about it and see where I can find my real own niche. I have projects from on the CrossFit space because I'm really into CrossFit. I have projects in the video editing because I was interested in editing video. I have projects in the customer support because I think that's really a problem and I relate it a lot with my experience on Twitterly. So you can see that I have many different areas, but none of them overlaps too much. And that's also an issue for me to leverage the different things that I'm doing and uh, making it more successful. So that's something that I need to find my real interest niche that I rely 
that I want to keep developing and where I can find synergies between the projects. So this is something that it's not coming directly from this book, but uh, it's something that I've been thinking a lot in, in the past uh, few weeks. And, uh, but it's also something that is hard for me to really find yet. I have not yet found the niche that, in, that makes me excited, that I have influence on, on it, and that I really see a long-term, me working long-term on that niche. So it's something for me still to, to find out and keep thinking with my myself, sharing ideas with others. So if you have ideas or want to brainstorm on that and want to help me, feel free to send me a DM. Happy to brainstorm and chat with anyone that uh, is interested in, in helping there. That would be really helpful, but also happy to share my thoughts about your own products. So don't hesitate to ping me whenever you, you want. That's why I'm doing this type of sharings and why I'm involved openly in this community to be able to help, inspire others, but also to get from the community. And for now, that's what I'm really getting into. It's really it's really happy to be in this building public community. So I want to, to keep doing that, see if I can make it to 100 reps. That's another interesting point that Noah shares in his book, is that if you want to do something, do it 100, 100 times, because this makes you stick to that. This makes you, okay, this makes sense or not. It's kind of going to the gym. You, the more reps you do, the better you're going to evolve. The first reps, of course, you not succeed. My, my first episodes were not that great. This one may be a little bit better, but it's still not there. It's just a third one. So I need to do these type of things more regularly. And uh, I also suggest you to keep with this cadence, try experiment, and and keep to this one on the reps. I think it's a good, good analogy that Noah shares in his book. Some other points that uh, made me think is like, the pre-validation of your ideas. That's really not what I'm doing. I'm not validating it at all. I'm just sending out. And at some point, I get tired of the idea and I could not really get into some users. I'm going to try in some other project in the future. Cannot promise that all of them will do that, but at least some of them, I will try to identify the market first and of creating some pre-validation. Yeah, I have some buying customers now will build a, on top of it. I'm sure I will not be able to do for all of them because the willingness to build something and just doing it is preventing me to do that, but I'll try to make an effort on that end. So if you see me building stuff without pre-validating, just uh, let me know because I feel that I should try that. On the other end, you have a lot of people in the community sharing a different mindset, a different approach. Just build it quickly, build it uh, very fast and, uh, and launch it and see. And then if there's interest, then keep coming. Let's see, for example, Thibaut shared just if you have uh, just work one week on each idea and see the one that sticks. And this Tweet Hunter, for example, that was super successful and he sold for four millions. It was his 11th idea. So during 10 weeks, he was just launching new projects with his co-founder, new ideas, and only the 11th one stick. So that's another approach. That's what I tried to do but for the last few months, but it, I'm also struggling on that end yet. Yeah. I'm not yet on the tens one, so maybe that's a reason, but let's, uh, let's, uh, that, that's another approach that it's very interesting to, to hear. And I like it a lot, but I'm failing on the marketing side, on the launching side, because I've, what I've also observed from my experience or last project is that if you don't invest also time on launching it, it's not just, it's dear. Everybody can use it. You don't share, you don't uh, market it. No one will know that it's here. So no one will see if it's useful or not. So you might be able to cutting the legs for a certain project because you didn't invest enough time on marketing it. And in the beginning of the year, I tried to, okay, let's stop this cadence of building so fast and try to invest more time. But on the other hand, now I'm seeing also with more recent project that the traction is not getting there. For example, for Trailer Wave, the project I'm currently working mostly on, I'm not getting a lot of traction. I've shared a lot of emails, doing a lot of outreach, doing some marketing. Of course, I'm not doing the marketing very well. i still learned it's, it's my hardest part is the marketing side. So I still need to learn how to really make it work, but I'm not getting enough traction. I don't know yet why, but at the end of the day, I don't have a lot of time to, to really focus on it. So I've worked mostly maybe two months already on this project. 
and have customers, paying customers. Yeah, true. That's very good comparing to other projects that no one paid for it. So that's, that's a plus. On the other end, don't have yet a good traction to say, yeah, I really want and I need to double down on this project and keep focusing on it. So I'm, I'm coming to a position where, how is it going in the future? How, what should I do? Should I keep investing and trying different things? Or should I keep building and trying other different ideas? I'm at this borderline right now, still believing that it's a very good project and can really help Shopify stores to launch or to create more engaging and product videos easily. So we'll try to find different angles. We are trying to also see if we can have a distribution channel directly on the Shopify app store. So that could be, that could give a different angle, at least more inbound flow to really decide yet. Yeah, we should keep going or we should just keep it alive and don't invest a lot of time. So let's see, I'm on this borderline, but still feeling that, yeah, no, need also to get some boost and get inspired and create different projects or work on other things that I've worked in the past and revive them, still working on what to do exactly. But this is something that there's two different approach. You have a lot of people just trying and seeing that works it's like trying many different projects or another ones that no first validate and only build afterwards, and I never know which one to choose. But I need to, to try the pre-validation part once, because I now have not tried it yet, really. And I know that by building several different things, the chances that something will work are much higher. Yeah, I think it, I've already talked quite a lot about this uh, book and this topic. I really recommend it. It gives interesting tips or practical tips on how to do some validation. It, it creates also different challenges that if you want to follow, I'm sure that this will bring you outside of your comfort zone and this will help you succeed for sure. But I, I really liked uh, reading the book. It hooked me into it and I need to take what I think it's most valuable from it. And, and I suggest you to read uh, this book for sure. Yeah. That's uh, about it. Some interesting ideas, some interesting reflections on my past. Not really a lot on what I've done last week. I try to keep working a small portion of the day on a few things on, on Trailer Wave, but essentially it was more to rest and to get some energy. And also reading this book gave me, making me reflect on what I've done and uh, be prepared for the next months, which uh, will be more challenging and for sure. It's a, it's a great time to, to work and to build new projects. It's really nice to see the speed of things coming up and looking forward to what we can all build together and share in this building public community. So don't forget to ping me if you have any questions, if I can help you somehow. If you just want to brainstorm or talk, I'm, uh, my DMs are open. Happy to, to jump on a quick call and share projects and ideas and also listen from all of you. So thank you for following. And would love to hear your feedback. It's really useful for me. And it has been a nice experience also this podcast. So we'll keep trying and see if I can get to the 100 reps. Have a great day, everyone. Cheers.